Two months ago, we started covering our vaulted ceiling in tongue and groove, and now we're about to complete this massive project. This is our last space in the house to get done. Back to working on the ceiling means more of Sarah's favorite thing, heights. You know, I really like scaffolding. And we're hoping this portion of the build goes quickly. It just takes longer than we'd like. Follow along as we complete our loft ceiling so you can see us get closer and closer to living in this loft. <laughs> And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a moment of the build. We are back in the build after Thanksgiving. We had an awesome time with Ryan's brother and his girlfriend and got to celebrate in our house, cooking the whole dinner in our kitchen. It couldn't have been more fitting to have the first big meal be Thanksgiving dinner. Now though, we are back to work and Ryan and I are seriously having a really hard time getting ourselves back in work mode, build mode after those few days off. So on today's agenda, it's pretty simple for us. We're just trying to bring in some tongue and groove so we can finish the ceiling up in the loft this week and just finish closing up that room. And then the last thing we've got to do before we can call for our temporary certificate of occupancy is finishing the railing on these stairs. So we've only got a few more things we've got to do before that. So we need to get to work. Yesterday we were in here for what felt like not very long, just kind of getting ourselves reset, figuring out our next plan of action on the build. Um, today we are tackling the upstairs loft area and getting it all covered with tongue and groove and shiplap because like I said yesterday, this is our last space in the house to get done as far as covering the walls go, which is needed for that temporary certificate of occupancy that we're going for. Behind me, we have our first piece of tongue and groove up over on this side, which is the only full ceiling portion we need to do besides our bathroom. So now all we really have to do is keep stacking on top of this and we figured out we can just use a full piece going up. So this should go pretty quickly. Oh, okay. Well, and the last one we did was 144, and we were like, that's a little too long. <laughs> Made it. We've gotten as far as we can on this portion of the ceiling with the pieces of tongue and groove that we had polyurethaned already. So now Ryan is gonna move on to putting on some of the shiplap on this wall that's on the outside of our bathroom and the upstairs. And then I'm going to actually be bringing in more pieces of tongue and groove so we can let those dry for just a little second and then start getting polyurethane on them. Hi. Hi. Figured I'd get a little bit of you to build this wall since I told everybody you were going to build it. Check your level. We can bust this out to that light switch. Sarah and I are in the house this morning and we have 
this wall behind us that's one of our bathroom walls and the loft ceiling that we're still working on closing up and as much as we would like to just get the whole thing busted out and finished we there's a little bit of a process to getting the materials completed and finished the way we want them to and they have to all be set up on sawhorses so you can see down below here we have all, everything all prepped up and we have one coat on there we need to get one more coat on this morning and then we can start putting them up on the wall so even if we did want to just go as fast as we could we could only prep about 15 boards at a time so it just takes longer than we'd like but the good news is is once we get this set of boards up I think we are completely done with ceilings minus the bathroom so we are really pushing to get this loft completed because once we get our walls covered and railings up on our outside deck we can call for our certificate of occupancy which means we can move into this house so we're gonna keep pushing forward and try to get this upstairs loft finished and we're gonna invite you to come along for the ride I don't know if we've explained our process that we're going through on finishing these tongue and groove boards, but first thing we're doing is we're bringing them in and letting them dry for usually overnight to kind of let them acclimate to the inside temperature. And if there is a little bit of dampness, it gives them a chance to dry out. Then we put on our first coat of polyurethane. If Sarah and I are both here, we usually roll the first coat on and then back brush with the, the brush. If it's just one of us, we usually use the brush. We usually let that sit for anywhere from four hours to overnight. Then we come in with a 220 grit sandpaper and we just lightly sand the top layer of that polyurethane off so it's smooth. Once that's done, we give it a quick wipe down with a cloth and then apply our last coat of polyurethane. And that gives it a nice shiny uh, appearance and makes it really smooth to the touch. So I'm gonna do the sanding of that right now and then we'll get that last coat of polyurethane on and just keep on moving forward. Ryan got done with that wall up in our loft area and all of these boards are all dry and ready to go up onto our ceiling. So I'm gonna start pushing up some of the boards actually that I've already pre-cut to the length that we need, get those up to Ryan and we can get this ceiling done. You ready? Yeah. Hey. The last time we were working on the loft ceiling, we were really hoping we were gonna get it completed, but we ran out of time that day and we still have six more rows to put up. We actually have all those pieces all polyurethane prepped and ready. So we're gonna bring them up here, cut them to the right length, and then we should be all set to just finish this out today. You're gonna be up on the scaffolding? No, that's what You know, I really like scaffolding. Yeah. Are you? I don't seem like you do it. Adrenaline junction. Are you? You think you can do three at a time? Probably.
We, we like a slow start. We like to ease into the day. All right, what are we doing, Sarah? I have to get up here and disconnect the smoke detector. Is it gonna electrocute me for any reason? No, because it's just a little plug-in thing. Okay, you have to give me a pencil. <laughs> I thought I was all locked and loaded, but I'm not. I'm gonna be... Ooh, I haven't done this. button? Uh -huh. Didn't do anything. Did that. Is that our last hole to be cut in shiplap? I... No, we still have the bathroom. We keep being like, and then we're done. And speakers. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then we're done this. Okay, we just finished up the last boards on the ceiling and those are actually the last ceiling boards we have to do on the whole house, except for the ones in the bathroom. And here, that doesn't count. We measured for the ceiling fan coming down right from the center of the ceiling there and we had to figure out what our length of our down rod was gonna be. It turned out it's gonna be about 36 inches. So we got that ordered. Now we're gonna move on to getting the trim, metal trim piece put up. You watched us do the other ceiling boards and we trimmed that out with that custom metal piece that Kyle made for us. So we're gonna get that part up on this side, get the trim up and we'll be done with the ceiling on this side. I just need to go between your legs with the camera. All right. Got it. We got like 20 minutes. How did it? 21? 21. So stanky. So stanky. fit and we put a black piece of paper like I was saying no one will ever know. Guess what? The steel trim is done. So something is done. All right, the steel trim is done throughout the house. We have almost all of the loft ceiling done. We just have our master bathroom to complete on that, but we are done for the day. It's all we have time for. Of course, we planned in our head that we would get that done and we would also do some other projects, but it never quite seems to work out like that. Yesterday, you guys watched us finish up the ceiling in our loft bedroom area and that metal trim that we put up. Today, we are just working on covering more of the walls in that loft bedroom area. So we're gonna get to work on that. Ryan's already up in the loft, putting up some boards and hopefully he's videotaping some of it. I have one piece to cut for him. I'll bring that up and then I will start figuring out my next measurements and just cut, bring it to him and he puts it up. It's just gonna be like a little assembly line today.
Did you videotape what you've been doing? I haven't done anything yet. Oh, okay. Need my assistance? No. Okay. I don't think so. I'm gonna get the level on this. I think I might need to set up the laser level at least at some point mm -hmm. just so we're building up at the same level. So we meet at the top at the same same spot. That's always, always helpful. After we got the ceiling and that trim work done in the loft area, which is going to be Sarah and I's master bedroom, we are moving on to continue to close up some walls. So we have this wall that frames around our uh, door that goes out to our little patio. And you can see this side that we have with our Mr. Cool is all done. So now we're going to build up this side and then it's going to carry across the top and go all the way up to the ceiling there. It'd be great if we could get this wall all completed. And then if we have time, we're going to finish this little half wall that comes up. I'm not sure if you remember or how much we've talked about it, but we're going to carry the shiplap up on this half wall and then actually have a shelf that extends upon here on the top here to give us a little extra storage. So Sarah's outside cutting the necessary pieces for that wall. I'm putting them in as fast as she can bring them to me. And we're gonna hopefully get these two walls knocked out today and closer and closer to living in this loft. <laughs> We got done with that wall upstairs as far as we were gonna go today. A lot of our material is under tarps and today it's pretty rainy so we don't wanna go out there and uncover. So we were working with scraps that we had. We got through all those. So now we are changing gears and we're actually gonna start putting together a pot rack that we have that we need to hang from our ceiling, which is key for getting done with the scaffolding and being able to take it fully down. So, and it actually has a light as well and ryan tells me it just hangs from the light fixture and holds all of our pots and i don't believe that at all so here we go <laughs> All right, if you were watching and paying close enough attention to that time lapse of us with the pot rack, you probably noticed that it didn't come with enough chain to properly hang. But it's probably actually good because we need to finalize the wiring of our speakers, and those are actually a little farther in. So we just took down the top layer of the scaffolding, so now it's at a height that we need it at. We have it pushed in so Ryan can actually start drilling and finding those speaker wires again that we covered when we put up all the tongue and groove. Substantial. Oh, there we go. Here we go. in the speaker wire. Well, here's our cut. Our speaker wire was like maybe a quarter inch away. Oh my gosh. And we cracked a little piece that we get to glue back together. No big thing. How does the rock and roll one? Okay. had to leave before the speaker was fully done because I had to go pick up our kids from school. 
they're all home now. The speaker is in and we got one out of four speakers set in place. It was one of those days today where we just couldn't get anything totally done. But I always remind myself that every little bit matters and those little tiny bits will add up to some big progress in the long run.